New information tonight. Pritchard Police telling NBC 15 News they have a person of interest in connection with an online threat of a shooting that was to have taken place this morning at Blunt High School. It did not happen. There was a heavy police presence this morning at the school after the principal reached out to parents to assure them that children would be protected. This latest threat comes as we get new information about another threat made just last week in Baldwin County. NBC 15's Darwin Singleton picks up the story from there. We counted more than a dozen Pritchard Police and Mobile County Sheriff's Deputy Patrol cars at Blend High School this morning after a threat posted online last night. A threat shared with NBC 15 by a concerned parent. It was a warning that a shooting would take place Monday morning at 9 at Blunt, and it would involve automatic weapons. That, of course, did not happen. But here's what did happen. Sunday night, Principal Jerome Woods sent a message to parents saying, that threat has been forwarded to the Mobile Cyber Crimes Unit and the local police department. We have a police presence on campus starting at 7 a.m. to ensure the safety of both students and staff. For some parents, it wasn't enough, as we saw several picking up their children before 9 this morning, including a woman I chatted with who remained in her car. Yes, I'm very concerned, she told me as she picked her brother up from the campus. All morning long, police car after police car after police car kept coming in to Blunt High School. Proof that law enforcement is taking this threat seriously just like they did last week in Baldwin County. That's where Fairhope police say a St. Michael Catholic High School student was arrested in connection with a threat made against that school. 18-year-old senior Richard Favre was taken into custody. Court records reveal Favre is charged with disorderly conduct and harassment threat, both Class C misdemeanors with a maximum penalty of three months in jail. Favre set for an initial appearance December 7th in Fairhope Municipal Court. Those who make these threats may think they're simple pranks, but sometimes the threat is real. That's why Kevin Levy, intelligence specialist with the Mobile Police Department, says they take every threat extremely seriously. And if somebody's fearful or takes action because they're fearful, that's the intent that we follow through with criminal investigation. We refer all these cases to the district attorney's office when it's warranted, um, and we will investigate every last one of them. Reminding those who make school threats, they can quickly find themselves going from the classroom to the courtroom. Darwin Singleton, NBC 15 News.